earlier this week, you know, we talked about Lizzo clapping back at Jillian Michaels yes. for saying that she was unhealthy because of her weight. And we tried, um, we wanted to give you an update because Jillian was recently on Extra and tried to clarify her comments. So she said that what she meant was that the world has become so PC that obesity, ob obesity has been glamorized. And as someone who used to be overweight, she knows the health ramifications that comes with being overweight. She used to be about 175 at 5'1", right? While Jillian didn't apologize, she did say oh, that what? she I regrets. Mean, I really... Hold up. Get, um, let me get, so let me, let me get, get, the, let me get the facts out. Let me get the facts out. While Jillian didn't apologize, she did say that she regrets the debate be because it became about Lizzo instead of the bigger issue because she is a big fan of Lizzo. So, ladies, does this change about how we feel about what Jillian said? No. She still no. said it. She and didn't it was the way she opinion. said it. She didn't take yeah. away, she didn't no. apologize. No. She's and by the way, she has a black daughter, okay? So my thing is, there's, there's something about this woman that made her feel like she could disrespect Lizzo like this. That's really my issue. Yeah. There's so, and if we're really being honest, I really feel like it's because she considers Lizzo to be overweight and because Lizzo was a black woman that she felt like she could just say whatever. Say anything. And not have to have any um, respect and she could speak with such loose candor. But the truth uh. of the matter is, is that she had no way, no place to say how she said it. And there was absolutely, because she is somebody who says that she was overweight, et cetera, she should know that there is a sensitivity mm -hmm. and that there is a... Yeah thoughtfulness about how you address these types of topics. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Here's what I don't like. She says that her, that we as the world got mad because we are, glam we are glamorizing obesity. That we're saying, oh, somebody's big, so let's go ahead and applaud for that. No, no, here's what I glamorize. Here's what I applaud. Somebody who loves themselves, and here's why. Hold, yes. hold the applause. Let me let me get to this because I was on The Biggest Loser, and I was like the coach to give fashion makeovers after they were done. And I respect Jillian's work, but here's the thing: none of those people would have lost the weight had they not number one first love themselves. You're not gonna lose weight because some trainer tells you. You're not gonna lose weight because some dude tells you. You're gonna lose the weight because at the end of the day, you love yourself and you go, you know what? I'm either okay with what I am or I wanna make some changes. So she needs to celebrate that Lizzo is showing us how you love your damn self yes. first and foremost well, before you make remember, any changes if you want to. I remember that's what I was saying. I think it was Monday when we were talking about this. Mm -hmm. I don't think she was lying with what she was saying in her in her recent statement. Yes, if you love yourself, you're gonna take care of yourself. My issue is that she singled Lizzo out. Yes. And she said it publicly. Now, this is something I would want my doctor to tell me. If I was obese, I would want my doctor to say the exact things that Jillian said. But I felt like she gave unsolicited advice. Yeah. And we all know sometimes when you hear unsolicited advice, yeah. even if it may be true, you feel some kind of way. So I felt like if she's gonna say that, yo, first of all, let Lizzo say something or, 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 or at least it, say, hey, Jillian, this is what I'm, you know, looking, you know, I need help, I'm reaching out. Then Jillian can respond mm. with that response. Otherwise, right. just don't, don't, don't but say anything. We have and a I problem. Really we are having a problem in this, in this country where we attack people that instead of attacking the issue. Yes. yes. If I say something that you don't like, don't attack me. Attack what I'm talking, talking about. about. Yes. Then I can respect you. Yes. I can't respect you yes. if you're attacking me yes. personally yeah. for how I look or how you want to shame it's a weak me. Way to and argue. that's what's happening with yeah. Lizzo. You're attacking her personally because she is having the time of her life. Attack the <laughs> issue that maybe, you know what? I feel like we're glamorizing, but take her out of it. Right. And you can, and yes. then we can say, okay, we can yes. have a conversation. We need to learn how to have conversations say in yes. this country yes. instead of attacking people and personally yes. and, canceling and canceling people. Uh, attack the issue, not the yes. person. And weight is a very yes. sensitive topic yes. anyway. And I'm gonna add just one more thing real quick. Not that this makes it any better, but I've never heard Jillian say anything about a severely underweight person who needs to exactly. go day weight. I'm just saying why yeah. do we have to go at Lizzo.